For years, we've been itching for that next web series to come around and really give us a surprise. And for even longer than that, we were wondering if it was even possible anymore. And this isn't even because of our admittedly overused phrasing of how almost all ARGs actually suck anyways. That was a type of thinking that we definitely got too used to saying out loud. Truthfully, the reason why Jif and I wondered whether a web series could ever scare us again was because of our maturation on the internet to begin with. And this is something that I think could be understandable to some. As funny as it sounds, when we were first making videos on this channel, we weren't necessarily gullible, but more so not that knowledgeable. The first time we saw Meat Sleep, the crux of the video revolved around whether what we were watching was actually real or not, instead of specifically figuring out what the ARG meant. And that's because we didn't even really know what an ARG was when we first started this channel. After we did know, we still approached every well-done ARG with the feeling in the back of our head. Well, what if this is real? A smaller channel in the far reach of YouTube, where almost probably the strangest and freakiest ARG I've ever seen, and that we have ever covered. Again, it's funny to think about now, but that precisely was the main reason ARGs originally got under our skin. And well, with the knowledge we have now, that of course doesn't happen anymore. But thinking about it deeper, it's kind of like a horror movie. When we watch one, we know that the movie itself is not real, but hey, it can still scare you sometimes despite that. You just gotta find the right one. And that leads us to today. For the first time in over two years, we have found a web series that I really think is quite effective, and I really missed it. The channel is known as Boas Vert. As of writing this video, there are only 14 videos, and without further ado, we're simply going to go through all of them and attempt to figure out what it all means. So sit back, relax, and let's finally delve into a web series once again. The first video is simply titled, Take Care, and it does a very good job at introducing us to the style in which these videos will be in. Take a watch. As you can see, it follows a specific character really trying to live without thinking about his terrifying neighbor downstairs. And at the end, we are finally introduced to this neighbor, and well, it definitely doesn't disappoint. The startling random change in art style almost reminds me of something out of Courage the Cowardly Dog. However, even beyond that, there is definitely a question to ask already with this first video, and that is simply, what was the entity saying? It was a very quiet whisper that is hard to make out, but it has since been revealed through listening to it closely. The entity seems to be saying, Do you know what day it is? When did you last go outside? When did you last see your friends? Your family? With these lines, we can already make out some very definite themes, but let's watch a few more of the videos before we really start talking about them. The second video on the channel is titled, Tenant Demo for a Game Which Will Never Exist. It begins with a hand holding up a supposed lost NES game, and then the rest of the video is simply playing it. The graphics of the game are really creepy and remind me of bootlegs of the time, and the goal of the game seems to be about paying him a visit, and by the time the video ends, you do just that. Thank you. 
The third video, entitled In the Walls, takes on a first-person perspective in what seems like a fight, and by the video's end, it's apparent that this fight did not go well. While watching it, I can't help but feel that there may be some sort of connection between this video and the Tenant game. One man going down a long walkway and seeing a black figure. They both share that in common, except this is of course not in a game. The next video, They Don't Know, is a play on the popular meme template of the same name. For those unfamiliar, the They Don't Know meme typically depicts somebody pretty uncomfortable at a party, and the people at the party don't know something about him, which is usually where the comedy comes from. In this one, we see a monster standing in a room, yet somehow the average person doesn't know about this monster. Another thing that is very thematically important to keep in mind. What's interesting to note, the monster in this video looks a lot like the triangle-headed monster we've seen in the past, but it does actually seem to be a different creature, and we see this one again in the future as well. Burning.mp4 is when things really start making sense. Take a watch for yourself. Thankfully, as you saw with enabling subtitles, everything here is able to be understood. But regarding the actual contents here, it's becoming clear that this monster in the basement is quite representative of overall feelings of negativity and depression. This video seems to discuss feeling unable to leave your home, and even watching people enjoy their lives outside of it, which only makes you feel worse. It tackles feelings of repetition that you feel trapped in during these feelings, and well, seemingly feelings of creative burnout too. The freakout at the end seems to represent the sheer frustration that falling into these feelings gives you. It's sadly relatable, so let's see if the videos continue down this path. Continue seems to pick back up in the game setting, but it quickly falls apart and decays into madness when the continue button winds up creating some very unprecedented results. I Met a Beautiful Angel is the video up next, and it is the most cryptic, yet possibly fascinating video on the entire channel. It's also the one video so far that genuinely has ARG elements, as it features codes and other cryptic messages all over the video. The video starts with some repetitive imagery that seems to show that this black figure with the outstretched hand is likely the same one we have seen in the past. When he stretches out his hand, a message comes out, which is the name of a Bible verse, Corinthians 13.11. If you look at the verse, it says, When I was a child, I used to speak like a child, think like a child, reason like a child. When I became a man, I did away with childish things. After this message is said, we seem to be introduced to a new figure, before it cuts back to the figure that we know, where it shows us another Bible verse, this one being Proverbs 2011. Even small children are known by their actions. So is their conduct really pure and upright? Following this, another figure is introduced, looking quite similar to the other one, before cutting very quickly back to our figure's hands again, where another Bible verse is shown for a fraction of a second, this one being Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. The next part is the one that personally stumped me the most, and that is the actual conversation, and who is even speaking when. A chasm appears upon the face of my watch. My past decapitated, I search blindly for what I will not find. Blind in my hero in the hand, as surely as if you had held the burning heart. One thousand decisions made in the name of a desiccated existence. Look up from your watch and tell me when you will grant forgiveness. 
is deserved. It seems to me that this first speaker is actually the main figure we know, even though he looks quite different than usual, the way in which they both speak is quite cryptic too. A chasm appears upon the face of my watch, my past decapitated, I search blindly for what I will not find. What exactly he is searching for is relatively unclear, however if we're rolling with the themes we've established in the previous videos, it's certainly possible that it's simply happiness or meaning. The angel then says, blinded by your own hand, as surely as if you had held the burning wire, one thousand decisions made in the name of your desaturated existence. Look up from your watch and tell me when you will grant forgiveness to the one most lacking." Now, what was the angel talking about exactly? To be honest, it's not 100% clear. To me it seems to be calling out the figure's current behaviors and decision making. Perhaps saying that the way in which you live should never be that way and is only culminating in your desaturated, or in other words, dull life. Basically letting these feelings of negativity wind up muddying your behaviors and can really take a massive toll on your existence. Who exactly the figure should be granting forgiveness to is also very much unclear, but the only person I can think of is simply yourself. The title and description of this video is also quite noticeable, as they help create a complete sentence. The title again is, I met a beautiful angel, and the description reads, and he told me something I did not want to hear. If we were going with the established theory we have come up with here, it's entirely possible that the harsh form of advice regarding feelings of depression that this angel gives definitely isn't something that you would want to hear when you are feeling that way. Following all of that, we have The Complex. This video is extremely notable, because it finally gives us a name drop for one of the creatures in the series. Through text that very quickly gets scribbled out, it says, the quilled god rages and destroys the rope which held him aloft. The following video is entitled deepwebheatwave.files.vid.xtk. The video itself isn't too notable, it just shows us a very creepypasta-esque website, but towards the end we do see multiple QR codes and well, let's see where they go. Well, there are a lot, and the majority of them just seem to be stills from other videos but there is one very notable one which features hexadecimal code. It shows an image of somebody holding a knife, and the code translates to, I will come for you. It's what he would have wanted. After this, we have Entirely Beloved, one of the most interesting videos of them all so far. As we saw, this video starred the triangular-headed person again, except the one that was in They Don't Know, not the first video in Burning.mp4. Like all the other videos featuring them, it seems to give feelings of melancholy, yet of course creepiness too. I have seen it. I have heard of it. To me, this video seems to be about the true connection and the lack of this experience the triangular figure has experienced. The figure mentions seeing and hearing of this phenomenon, and also laments on how this feeling bridges the chasm, or draws you closer. You experience mutual feelings. When mentioning that it has sought something out, I don't think it's referring to a specific person like many that have watched this video seem to conclude. Instead, I think it's about the concept of love as a whole. It's tried to experience it, but for some reason, it feels it can't. Due to the common themes of anxiety and self-doubt shown in the previous video, this makes sense. As it ends, we even see it say the word, love. I am immobilized. And when you come near, detaching yourself from those with everything, The next video is Consequences, and it seems to majorly pick up on more themes of isolation. Once again, Triangle Head's feelings on isolation are extremely negative. I can repudiate it no longer. 
He mentions not being able to take it any longer, and also mentions how empty and cold being stuck inside this lung is. This is my home. It is empty. It is cold. The most interesting part may reside within the visuals this time, though. At the very start, when everything is disordered, we see that there is a dot on Triangle Head's face, and in the background there are multiple other faces, suggesting other people. To me, this seems like a nod at the fact that Triangle Head's feelings are not exclusive to him. Many people think and deal with the same sorts of things he does, especially today. This video also features a QR code, and this time it takes us to an unlisted video, with just a dot as its title. Here we see another character we've seen before, this time talking about the fact that not everybody will experience love at all in their life, and how sad that really is. The next video, Prelude, Angels underscore Warning, as you may have guessed, features the return of the angels, and it's just as creepy as ever. This one really seems to take the previously mentioned word of complex and really makes it its focal point. To really clear everything up so it all makes sense, a complex is, well, any similar group of things that connect together, and when the phrase is used, it's usually referring to buildings or prisons. In this series, I definitely think the term complex goes deeper. Throughout all these videos, there's one thing that is certain. All these characters we have seen are facing similar struggles. They all seem to be isolated, and they all seem to be melancholic and lonely. The complex here seems to be the connection that these beings share, that of being trapped and isolated. Zoning Ordinance is next, and it is the single longest video in the entire series. The vast majority of it seems to portray a fight that many of the characters we have seen before partake in with each other. At one point though, things do calm down, and we see Triangle Head begin speaking with someone, where it seems to confirm our previous points with what the complex really means here. Chad, you picture an empty room with yourself at the center. Answer me quickly and honestly. Chad, you picture an empty room with yourself at the center. I don't know. Is there still enough space in the hallway to continue? I don't know. The complex is an aberration, yet you have shredded a hole within yourself that only it may fill. Do you know what you must do? I don't. Cry out. Cry out. For there is slaughter in the new Jerusalem. Cry out, so that one may ignore. After the conversation, Triangle Head rips the face of the person he was talking to and puts it on his own head, which allows him to easily defeat all the other people in the fight, ending the video. Most interesting, the complex is referred to as an aberration, or not normal. In this specific instance, the overwhelming loneliness all the characters feel may not be as a result of a usual circumstance. Despite this though, it's said that damage has been done that may be extremely difficult to reverse. And at long last, we've reached the final video, at least at our time of writing. It's called Ashes.mp4. This is one of the more mysterious videos in its meaning. It shows the horned man again working on something, and then shows multiple very quick cuts of the woods where a creature on all fours is walking towards the camera.
This reminds me of the very first video, of those negative feelings creeping and looming up, threatening to take over. We also have another QR code that flashes for a fraction of a second towards the very end, and this one leads to another unlisted video, this again having the title of Just a Dot. This video seems to show a bleeding creature and even features singing at the very end. Why don't you go where you can see and you can follow? It's a hard, tough pill to swallow, but in time you will see that there is so much more of me. For a quick update, there was actually one more video that came out after we finished writing, so we're quickly going to discuss that here too. This video is titled Narrowing, and it is a short one, but nevertheless, it's intriguing all the same. It seems to be themed to a dialogue exchange in a game, and at the start we see that it is Triangle Head speaking with another being. About 9 seconds in, there is a pretty massive piece of text that flashes for just a second, and if you do catch it, it says, Frankly, it isn't worth your time. Yes, he thinks like that. He always has, and he always will. Fuck him. You've completely missed the point, after so many attempts to show you. It's impressive, really. Enough of this. If you had something to say to me, then say it. I've endured these half measures for years now. You already understand. I will kill you. I will crush your head against the pavement. I almost killed a beautiful dog earlier and took a break to last a lifetime. I can't keep indulging in this. The rest of the video pretty much follows suit in this same sentiment. This being once again seems to be calling out Triangle Head's behavior, and Triangle Head seems to be responding aggressively. There's also some sign language at the end of it that people have been attempting to translate, but I've seen a surprising high number of interpretations for it, so I'm not going to trust any of them just yet, being that I myself do not know sign language. And with this 30 second video out of the way, we are now all caught up. So what does this series all mean? Well, as we have been alluding, it seems to fixate itself on isolation, and the negative feelings that come with either doing that, or what leads one to do that in the first place. There are a multitude of different characters in the videos, and while it is cool to attempt to track down every single thing they do in these videos, I think the point is that they are all inherently going through the same thing in one way or another. The complex is this group of characters. They may be different, but they are also one and the same when it comes to these experiences. The series also makes a point that these feelings of isolation are also vastly increased due to a specific event, and well, in recent memory, what have we all been dealing with? Lockdowns, resulting in isolation. This is the unusual circumstance that was mentioned. All we can hope to do is fight off these negative feelings, the monsters creeping into our consciousness. Maybe then we can finally get past this dark time in our life, as a group, as a complex. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to like this video, comment down below, and check out our Patreon. We have new stuff coming out, um, specifically being um, commentary, so we're going to go back and talk about old videos and what we remember writing them, editing, um, coming up with, script writing, pretty much everything. Um, they're a lot of fun, and um, we hope to have more coming. But as always, my name is Seb from Debunk File. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.